Hello everyone, you may be aware that you can send programs like games and utilities to your calculator. Unfortunately, it used to require TI Connect CE every time you wanted to transfer a file, and it's only available for Windows, Mac, and Chrome OS users who have admin privileges. However, it doesn't even fully function on operating systems like Chrome OS. Fortunately, there's a new way to transfer programs that's faster and currently only requires TI Connect CE once. If you're watching this in the future, TI Connect CE may not be required at all if you go to ticalc.link. Although it's not compatible with the TI84 Plus CE at time of recording, I'll put a card up right now if it ever does. Back to the new transfer method, Chemitech member Jacob Lee has created a program that lets your calculator talk to your computer using MTP. In layman's terms, you're basically turning your calculator into a simple flash drive. This means you can even transfer files on Linux, Android, and Chrome OS devices without any modifications or extra software. Okay, editor TLM here. So apparently working with Chrome OS is less straightforward than I originally thought. Although the help page explicitly states that MTP is supported, I could not get this working on a school Chromebook. Hopefully this only affects Chromebooks in my district, but be aware your mileage may vary. If you end up not being able to use this program with your Chromebook, your best bet is to wait for ticalc.link to support the TI84 Plus CE. If you already have TI Connect CE and you just want to send assembly programs and games, then you can check the description for a workaround documented by Command Block Guy. Anyways, back to the video. There are a few caveats, however. macOS and iOS never expected devices other than cameras to use MTP. So for macOS, you'll need a third-party software such as Android File Transfer to view the files properly. Unfortunately, if you're on iOS, there's not even a third-party tool, so you're just plain out of luck. Very old Android versions may also incorrectly treat the calculator as a camera. However, Android versions made since 2017 will definitely handle it correctly. Enough warnings, here's how you get the program. All the links will be in the description. Go to github.com slash jacobly0 slash transfer slash releases. Now click on the most recent release. Once it's downloaded, open the .zip folder and read the readme.md with any text editor. This will provide the link to download the special libraries required to run this program. Since I'm showing off an early beta, the link may have changed in your version. Just paste the link in your browser and it'll start downloading the files. Note, if you have OS 5.5 or higher, you will also need to download the Artifice jailbreak. I made a tutorial on this, which you can visit by clicking the card above. Once all the files are downloaded, you'll need to extract them from the .zip folder, then send them over using TI Connect CE, TILP, or ticalc.link. If you're on Chrome OS and there's no unprotected version of the file, you can either perform a workaround documented by command block guy on Chemitech, or download and send a version I modified to work on Chrome OS. The link for that is in the description. Just note that my modified version may not be the most up to date. If you want to transfer the program from another calculator, connect the two calculators with the mini USB A to mini USB B cable that came with the calculators. Then, on the calculator that has the program, press second, link, all minus, then select transfer, file IOC, graphx, keypad C, libload, and USB drive CE. Once you're ready, put the other calculator in receive mode, then select transmit and the program will be sent over. Now that you have the program on the calculator, all you have to do is run it and connect the calculator to your computer. You should hear the device connected sound, and the calculator will output some events to the screen. If nothing happens when you plug in the calculator, make sure the cable you're using isn't power only. Now you can go to your file explorer and find your calculator. If you go to properties, you can see your OS version along with your serial number as well as the battery level. If you enter the device, you'll see two drives, archive and RAM. You should send all your files to the archive since it's larger and its files don't get lost after a RAM reset. From here, it just acts like a normal flash drive. To send a file to your calculator, just drag and drop it. To send a file from your calculator, just drag and drop it. It's really that simple. When you're done, you can press clear to exit the program and find the files you sent over in their respective locations. We can even do a speed benchmark to see how much faster this new method is over TI Connect CE. My calculator was freshly reset for both benchmarks and I sent over the same 300 unique files each time. 
As you can see, the extra processing TI Connect CE does cripples its performance. Since this new method doesn't need to deal with this processing, it's significantly faster. That's all. Enjoy your new freedom from TI Connect. If you have any questions, comment them below and I'll be happy to help. Have a good day.